what's up guys, Camper Rusher here. Welcome back to Skyblock Survival here on my server, Skyregions.net. Starting off the episode here with Ben Mascot. How you doing, Ben? I'm doing good. I'm doing good as well. Good to hear, <laughs> dude. We are going in for another Skyblock episode. Last episode, we made, you can actually see I'm up to 1.285 million. We made a million dollars in one shop sale. Technically, we made 900k because I was already at 100k, but we went over 1 million, and now that I come back, you can see I have made um, well over a million. We're at 1.285 million. So I, I guess that just means I bet everything's been sold out. Like I, I think we kept the island open even after the episode, so eventually the, everything ended up selling out. Literally, even our cobblestone's gone. Everything's gone, man. It's insane. So we're going to have to work on uh, getting the shop filled back up uh, at some point, but for now... We are very rich individuals, and we've got a lot to do today, as we always do. I say this every time here on Sky Region, Skyblock. Again, thanks everyone for the support. There's 185 out of 175 people on uh, the Utopia region right now, which just blows my mind. Super exciting, and I just can't thank you enough for the support on this series and on the server. Okay, so, Ben. Tradition. We're hitting crate keys, buddy. We're hitting sky yep. keys. We need to get something big, dude. I mean, even if when we get in quotes a loss or a common item, shout out to Core and for RDR for purchasing sky keys. GG. And it's still helpful, even when we win the common stuff. So here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. $75 kit. That's not too shabby. I think I. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, Ben. What? <laughs> I got the $75 kit and I literally picked up all the bad stuff. Oh my and then God, because me too. my inventory was full and this guy comes in and steals the emeralds, the diamonds, <laughs> whatever. Because $75 kit's actually a pretty good win, ladies and gentlemen. No way this guy came in and just jacked it all up. <laughs> All right, my bad. We just lost out on some emeralds, but it's because I had glass and stuff in my inventory. I did get the coal, though, which, uh, I mean, kind of the worst ore out of them all. But either way, that's that's okay. That's a pretty good win. What did you get? The $75 kit as well? Uh, Yeah, $75 kit. Okay, nice, buddy. Nice. All right, so with that being said, though, we are going to... I'm probably going to put some of this stuff away. Rumble still needs to sort these. We're going to make Rumble sort these chests one of these days. It's going to happen. All right, so... Here's where we, and I might need this brown wool after, but I think we have extra. But here's what we're doing today. We got a lot to do. So first off, let's deal with the, let's get slash fly, obviously, with that $75 rank. Let's get slash fly, and we are going to finish off the challenge. So you can see here, here's where we're looking. Um, Rumble, Ben, and myself a little bit have been working on uh, getting the 32 of every color of wool in the game. And we had all the sheep ready, so it was just a matter of waiting and shearing. I think we're only missing a couple. Or everything's 32 except light green and dark blue. Everything else, we're good, Ben. So we just need a light green. I mean, you can shear the extra ones if you want. Oh, two light greens. Perfect. And now we need two dark blues. Oh, we got three. All right, dude, we're rolling. I think we this, this actually might be the completion of the challenge just like that. So let me go put some of this extra cobblestone we just got um, away. And the coal as well, some wood. I think I might even need to put this glass away for the time being. I'm going to need that in just a second, though. And let me complete the challenge, dude. I'm taking it all. I'll put all the extras back in. So, slash IS. Um, did I pick up the red? Yes, I did. ISCP challenges. And where are you? Collect 32 of every color of wool. Oh my gosh, we did it, dude. We freaking did it. Actually, I got a bunch of uh of music discs, hey, from that win, from that uh from that challenge. Because Oh, wait, really? Yeah, yeah, I got I got 3 music discs which transmits into DJ craft a jukebox and collect all music discs. Now, I don't know how many music discs there are. I think there's around 10-ish or so. I know that's not the right number, but it is around there, I think. Um so this will help the, help that out. And I know we've already got some. Maybe it was because Rumble already did one. Yeah. Oh, no. We've got one more in here. So we've got four for sure. We've already got a jukebox as well. So we'll see. we got to keep working on that. We're not going to be working on that today. And I got a sheep egg as well. I mean, we don't really need that at all at this point because we've got the perfect amount of sheep. But we'll, uh, we'll roll with it. So I'll put all our wool back in here just in case we ever do need it. And we're not going to kill off any of the any of the sheep obviously there's no point to that because at some point we may need uh all of this wool so we'll just uh we'll leave it as is for now okay next thing we're gonna do 
and we're kind of getting the little things out of the way first of all that was kind of that was a big thing but it was a little thing today because we've done all the the hard and long and big stuff uh in the previous episodes but glass so what we're doing with this is the little elevator system i made last episode and we're going to be heading down to the pumpkin farm to do a, a cool tactic here in just a little bit but i want to finish this off i hate leaving things unfinished like i usually do it but i don't want to do it on skyblock i don't want that to uh to be a thing um let me just send a message we're, we're gonna be heading somewhere else i will be there soon uh don't worry i'm striking deals i've got today's ep plan and things are happening this guy's bowing us from far okay so I want to put glass around this. Now, I don't want to just do normal glass, though. I want to do some stained glass. And copying the theme of our blue beacon, Ben M, I want to do lapis. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, I guess a, a, a blue stained glass, which is the lapis. So if what you told me is correct, and it is, I just put lapis in the middle, and that creates a stack of, uh, of that. So let me take these lapis lazuli blocks, craft them into that and let's get to work this should be fairly quick we're gonna get our blue stained glass done just like that like i said i like it ben M. good call on that i think the blue looks good too blue is uh blue is just a good color in general uh ben you want to help me out oh you do have you have your own I yep i got it okay so we're not going to do the corners okay because this water flow here would completely interrupt that so we can't actually do the corners unfortunately but that's okay so i'll just uh I'll do the, the general layout for you here so you know, but um, that's it. So we're just going to quickly add um, this all the way down. I mean, really, it doesn't add too much. It just uh, kind of adds uh, the aesthetic. A aesthetic? A aesthetic. <laughs> that's always a weird word for me to say. So let's see. I don't even know if we'll have enough glass for this, but we'll we'll put all of our, uh, our resources that we have into it and see where we're at. Ben, I just ran out of blocks here on the last two rows. Are you going to be able to finish it? It's probably going to be another stack or two, eh? I, probably... I have uh, two stacks and a half left. So oh, that, that'll do it. That'll do it just fine. So as Ben M's finishing up here, because I'm completely completely out um this is just what we did with the design here we've got we took out the the cobble mo or not the cobble monsters facts god dang it not factions today um uh, the cobble fence post here uh, including the corner one just so it, it looks it looks better this way i think and even without the corners it still looks um i don't know it still looks good i know you left a door here or like a little entrance here as well i think we'll leave yeah yeah leave two entrances yeah ben i like that so leave an entrance um uh, on both sides e so you can get out either way so that's kind of the the general idea and now it's it's closed off and really again it doesn't really do anything it makes sure you land in the water but again if you don't um at least in ben m and i's case we like because we got the slash fly you wouldn't take the fall damage anyways but it just it just looks good dude and it's, instead of just free falling now you fall perfectly into it it's kind of like one of those glass elevators and you know that just that just goes down though unfortunately um so Ben, nice job. Thanks for helping me out with that, buddy. I appreciate that. So, next on our list is something quicker, but something very important. Rumble's already kind of tackled this, but let me show you what's going on. So, we briefly discussed this before, but never really gotten into it. The tactic that is making, you know, Rumble a ton of money and whatnot is using players other players on the server who do not have their own automatic farm who are willing to come here and basically afk our farm the the you know the one that we you know we in in quotes put our effort into really it was rumble but just for, you know for uh just for time's sake here let's just say we um so we put the effort in we built this thing so they get to come here they afk it while we're not even online we just open our island up and then we have sell signs or buy signs that they can buy the pumpkins for cheaper and then sell it um for profit that's generally the idea so let's see what uh what uh rumble's done here so we're gonna need to bring out the old trusty calculator i'm leaning down i'm leaning down to get my calculator right here Right I got now. it, dude. Uh, oh, I got You have one too. <laughs> I got a phone calculator. Oh, dude, I'm rolling out my real professional calculator. <laughs> so I did want to do this math with you guys in the video. So let's check slash shop just to explain it better. We go to slash shop. We go to farming, I believe. Yes. And normally you could sell a pumpkin, one pumpkin for two dollars and fifty cents. So keep that in mind. Rumble has set up um, some signs here. He's left the bottom two chests for, for us to do um, um, so we can make some money out of it. So he is selling 2304, an inventory of pumpkins for $5,000.
So all we need to do is do the 2304 divided by 5,000. Never mind, 5,000 divided by 2304. You know, I'm supposed to be a university student and I messed up that equation. <laughs> so what that means is he is selling the pumpkins to these players who, who AFK for $2.17 per pumpkin. So Rumble, or you know, us, on this price, we will make about 33 cents less profit per pumpkin um, if we do it this way. But if you think about it this way, we wouldn't have even been online to sell the pumpkins anyways. So technically we would have made zero dollars anyway. So let's just do it. So, and then how that works for them is they would buy it, they would sell it, and they would make 33 cents profit instead of the $2.50. So this is how Rumble has it set up right now. In my opinion, Ben M, that's almost a, a little low, would you say? I think so i think he's pretty reasonable with the price I yeah like I, like my, my point is is we're uh, he we're almost being a little too greedy with this i don't think like why because here's my argument with it slash shop why would people not in i guess they wouldn't have anything else to sell but why wouldn't they even just do sugarcane for a dollar 75 i guess it's not automatic though so there's no um yeah I, and then i guess melons they'd have to be automatic okay so really there's no other automatic farm where they can make this kind of money. Oh, no, actually, he's being reasonable because the other one is, you know, seeds here, 30 cents, 25 cents, and they're going to be making 33 cent profit uh, via the pumpkins. Okay, so let's copy his sign. So basically, the people selling our pumpkins take a huge hit from their profit, but they don't even have their own farm, so they wouldn't be making any money anyways without the farm. So that's how, that's how the supply and demand and how both parties in this situation actually end up making, uh, making cash. So... All I gotta do, buy 5,000. I'm literally just gonna be copying, um, uh, oops, pumpkin. I'm just gonna be uh, copying my, my man Rumble here and setting it up just like so, dude. I like this, dude, I like this a lot. We're gonna put that right there. So I'm gonna do it on either, um, uh, on either side here. The same thing over and over until we have all four filled up. And just like that, we are all set up. So. Uh, we definitely do have the advantage on on rumble right now because the bottom ones obviously fill up first But you know someone could afk here for who knows how long now the thing is we do have to open our island So uh, basically the strategy is as soon as Ben, you know, Ben and I log off or even rumble or even if we wanted to open it right now um, Then someone would just come over here. They would afk the welcome signs already here So they would actually spawn here um, And then <laughs> rumble told me to put my welcome sign here because I think people were spawning up there and then they would just sit here, AFK, um, activate our pumpkin farm, and then make their selves money, make us money, and it would just, uh, it's, it's just a good little system. So last thing we will do here quickly is get this sign set up and just make it say, welcome, or let me just go welcome, just like that. There we go. We're rolling. All right. So that's all set up. Hopefully everyone understands that it's a pretty OP strategy and works for us and, and works for everyone else. I actually, I think Rumble just came online yeah, as well. Rumble just got on. We might have to get him in here, dude. Rumble's joined into the call now. What's up, Rums? Hey. He's popping on mid episode. Just finished his classes, dude. He's got the university life going on as well. Um, <laughs> so Rumble, what we just did, I just set up, um, I took a couple of your signs and I uh, told them about the pumpkin AFK strategy and I set my welcome sign up down there. So next thing or kind of the, the, we may or may not spend our money today. Today I wanted it to be like spending day, shopping day. You know, we got $1.3 million almost. I, I got money to spend. But we might not have time for it. So if we don't do it today, we will do it in the next episode and, and, and get some other farms and stuff happening. You guys did, I did read a lot of your comments, what you suggested we should, should, should buy. Lots of said IGs and stuff like that. So we'll, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely thinking about every, every possibility, but uh, I don't know if we'll have enough time. So let's go. Um, we need snow. So let me show you why we need snow. ISCP. There's always something to work on in Skyblock, whether it's on your island or farms or challenges. Today, we've been doing a little bit of everything. But the uh, challenge-wise, we have how many? Complete six more advanced challenges to unlock the elite challenges. So, um, actually, wait. Dude, why have I not? You are missing one beacon. You must be sitting. Dude, I haven't even done this beacon challenge. There's a oh, beacon. Just walk over here. There's yeah. a beacon challenge, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a. Can I? Can I literally just do it right here? Just stand right here. Yeah. Dude, I could have done this challenge so long ago. I know. Yeah. Boom. I just got a beacon, boys. Beaconator. That, all right. Five to go. 
So next on the list, the one I'm focusing on is where are you? Build a snow golem. This one is build five, build a five snow golems. Apparently, I don't know if that grammar makes sense, but a that's five. All right. <laughs> um, so uh, that one's not too hard to do. We need five pumpkins, and I think we need is it two snow blocks per or four per? It's four. Two. Is it two it's, or it's uh, two? It's just one up. One bottom, one middle, and then pumpkin is the top. Yeah, so we need two, you know, we need ten snow blocks, basically, and a snow block is four snowballs? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so we need 40 snowballs. So, I was looking around, and instead of doing AH or anything like that, today we're going to go visit someone's player shop. And that player is the one I was messaging earlier, right here, IS Warp Molly 26825 Lion Donator Rank. Thank you so much. And we are at Molly Shop now. So... Let's, um, and you can actually see my money's going up right now, guys, because people are buying those pumpkins, um, that have already been generated up. So, you know, kind of, kind of works out nicely. All right. So we're here at the shop. What is, uh, what is she selling here? First of all, she's got pumpkins, wheat. So, you know, she's doing, oh, she has the exact same oh. price as you do, uh, Rumble, eh? Is that what, did you base it off? Like we were talking it's, about, I your... mean, it's a good round number, 5,000. Yeah, yeah we, exactly. were, we were talking about your price and I think it, it works pretty well. So she's selling normally not able to open chests, but uh, of course I'm able to here. I'm not going to steal anything though. So soul sand, cobble, nether stock. She's, she's the, uh, she sells a bunch of stuff here. Um, so good for her. A nice little, uh, compact player shop here. And she says message or mail if prices are too high so I can change them. Yeah, she's, she's running a business over here, this, this Molly girl is. So, right here, um, 16 snowballs for, ooh, ooh, cheap price too, boys. We could buy 16 snowballs for the price of 50, and she's got a bunch of them. So, let's get 16, 32, 48. I mean, might as well get a you little. You should be good there. I uh, mean. <laughs> uh, I'm just, yeah, I know. I, I literally almost bought them all out, though, just because they're, 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 that's such a good price, dude. We should almost just buy. Well, no, now we can make a snow farm, though. All right, I'll send Molly a message. Thank you, because she set that up. Um, she had snow, and, and she I think she just set this up in her shop. I'm not too sure. Either way, thanks for your support, Molly. I appreciate that, and, and thanks for the pleasure doing business with you. All right, let's go back to slash IS, and now we got to set up this, uh, this little snow golem farm here. So what we're going to do is we are going to make, again, like I said, 10 snow blocks. 16 is okay as well. Um, do you guys have pumpkins on your inventory right now or no? Yep. Here you oh, go. Ben M, you legend, oh, you. Legend. Um, should we build them separately and then kill them off and then make the one in here? Is that what you're trying to do here, Ben? Is yeah, this that's it? what I want to do. Okay, so let's set the first one up right in Wait, here. Wait, why do you have to make one in here? He Wait wants to a make second. It. it may not work, Rush. I did it anyways, dude. I did it anyways. Oh, it worked. It worked, dude. It worked. <laughs> Actually, Damn we'll much. bring that up in a second. So now, and then all you got to do is shovel it and then it re... Oh, I hit him by accident. Sorry, buddy. And then it re... Yeah, so there, there's, there's a simple snow farm if you didn't know how to do it. All right, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Actually, do I have to be around all of them probably? Yeah, you have to, yeah. All right, dude, we're going to risk it. We're going to try it right here. Oh, and then they oh, they, they actually created over here. Okay, let me go ISCP challenges. Where are you, Snow? Build five snow golems. I did it, boys. GG, you can kill all these things. <laughs> kill them off before they make our whole island snowy, boys. Take them out. Except this one in here. We can keep them here for a little snow golem farm. So, Ben, we were debating this earlier in Rumble. You might um, have a solution to it as well. If we go to yeah. ISCP once again, and what is it? There's bi change biome. So how does this change biome thing work? Because we were thinking these things weren't going to spawn in unless we changed it to a different biome. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, well, I mean, if you want ice, like if you want to mine ice, you can change it to the winter biome and all the water will like freeze up into ice eventually. Oh. It's basically like changing it into like a normal MC biome, like you change it to the jungle and all the grass will change differently. And can you change it mm -hmm. back afterwards? Yeah. You okay. It back so this is something we've never done. So you can see, see this right here. So basically spending, you know, 500 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, you can change your 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 skyblock island to whatever biome you want it looks like the net like the nether warning all water snow and ice will be removed uh forest with trees uh, whatever it is we haven't really looked at this before and never done it i don't think we're gonna do it today but i wanted to point this out that this biome feature does in fact exist last thing we're gonna talk about today again we will get to the igs and many other things in the next episode of skyblock today was super like we did so many little things today again another super productive day but Rumble, I gotta bring something up here. Why 
is my cobblestone generator, my baby, <laughs> my auto. You know, I used a tutorial to make it, but I freaking yeah. love this thing, dude. I'm sorry about Why that. Why have you disabled it? Um, I destroyed it because you were using like nine hoppers on the thing. And I need the hoppers for the farms. And so I can make it like another one that's more efficient and uses one hopper. And that's what I was planning on doing. So you're telling me, so I get that. Okay, so you you know, I was using a few because there is a hopper limit of what, 52 or something 50, like yeah. 50? Yeah, uh -huh. so 50 hopper limit per island. So I get that. Now, Rumble, I'm going to leave it up to you. By the time I sign in for the next episode, if I have a better or at least, uh, at least as efficient or more efficient cobblestone generator than I already have, then we're going to, we'll, we'll go with your design, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. We will revisit this next episode, Rumble. It's all up to you. Can you impress me or more so, can you impress the viewers with a better cobblestone gener generator than I have? You probably can because this thing was pretty oh, yeah. simple. But um, All right, I'll leave it to you. Next episode, dude, we'll, let, we'll let you know. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up today's episode of Skyblock. If you did enjoy, touch that like button. Make sure to join the rushers by subscribing to my channel. We do Skyblock every three days now. It's kind of becoming an official thing. I freaking love Skyblock, man. I've been really enjoying it. And I just appreciate everyone who plays on my server, skyregions.net, and supports this show. You can also subscribe to Ben Mascot to Rumble down below. Description. Do your thing. I'd appreciate that. They'd appreciate that. And other than that, we survived donators to Sky Regions. We got Diabetic Oyster, Hoagie, Sugarland Queen, Brennan of Inn, and Core 8523. Um, he bought some crate keys earlier today. So thank you for your financial support to my server. And uh, I hope to see you guys on Utopia Region or whatever region it may be. We do have some updates coming. Uh, I'm just waiting for a couple things to pull through. And then I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. Other than that, have yourselves a beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.